Hey everyone, Keith Locke here, filming this video from the mountains of Ecuador for Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video I want to explain how to download setup and use the simple download monitor plugin. And this plugin will allow you to put some downloads on your website and get some stats for those downloads. So say you wanted to share a PDF on your website, you could find out how many people are downloading it, what IP addresses are downloading it, and then just... Um, find out what date and time people are downloading and here's all the features right here and so I'm going to set that up right now the first thing I want to do is download it to my computer I'm just going to download the zip file to the desktop and now back in my WordPress installation here we're going to go to plugins add new upload choose file and then locate simple download monitor I download it to my desktop to find easily double click install now and activate plugin and now a new menu option will show up here um, where is it downloads and it's sort of like a custom post type it's like adding a new post so just click, click on add new I did a simple PDF here on my on my desktop that I'm going to use to uh, for for this demonstration so what we're going to do just give it a title Add a description so we can just fully describe this. Um, create a call to action, for example. Next, select the file. So I'm just going to upload that from my computer. Select files, uh, my my ebook and then click on insert into post All right, and now we're going to you can choose a thumbnail this is optional but it makes it more attractive when displaying on the screen so we're going to click on select image and select files I'm just going to grab any random image that's on my desktop here then scroll down click on insert into post alright now here's this e-member protection options is only there because I have the um, Tips and Tricks e-member uh, plugin, the membership plugin installed as well. So that's why that extra option is there. We don't have to worry about that right now. I'm going to grab the short code right here, copy that to the clipboard. Um, fancy equals zero just means it's not going to be a fancy display. It's only going to show a button. So it depends on how you want to set it up. I'll show you what it looks like without, um, without the fancy display and with. All right, make sure you click on publish. This is key. Click on publish. Okay. So now that's set up, let's go to Pages, Add New, give it a title, whatever you want, and then paste in the short code in there, and then click Publish. And this, like I said, won't have any kind of fancy display, we're just going to be able to see the download button. So I can just click Download Now, it's going to open the PDF. All right, so if I was to right click, save link as, and I could download that PDF right to my computer. All right, so let's uh, change this fancy to one, and then click on update. And actually, before I do that, I want to show you, I'm going to delete that, go to visual view, and uh, you can see how you can actually do it here. You could just drop down this list to find a, an existing title that you want to insert. Decide if you want it to be fancy or not and click insert code. Simple download monitor SDM. So it, um, so it puts the short code in for you. So you don't have to copy it on the previous page. You could just grab it right from there. Click on update. So fancy is one. So this is going to look a little bit nicer. It's going to have our description and our thumbnail. All right, here it is. It shows our title, has a thumbnail image and description. So we could just right click, um, save, save link as or click on it to open the PDF. And that's really all there is to it. I'm going to show you now. Let's go back to the admin here. We'll go to plug, we'll go to downloads and then click on downloads and this shows all the downloads that we have added into the system and it'll give us a stat so we can see that it's been downloaded two times. Um, that's really all there is to it. Of course you can specify different categories and tags for your for your downloads and check the logs for, for more information. Um, you know the dates and times when things when uh, your items were downloaded. 
All right, that's all there is to it. Again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.